guys, how's it going? Uh, Tammy's been doing some filming during this process of our working on our home base. She's got some before, during, and not really after, but up to the present time. And uh, I just thought we would upload this and share it just in case, in case you're curious what we're doing. Thanks for watching. So John and I bought this um, tiny cottage. It's a 28 foot by 28 foot square house. And it's about 728 square feet, I believe. And this is the kitchen. Um, I'm thinking that the stove probably goes there. And the refrigerator goes there. The cabinets are really tall. Probably not gonna be able to reach half of them. I always forget to do a before and after so I wanted to do this before I started working on this home to make it ours. This area over here is the eat-in kitchen. Um, the color was already yellow so I'm thinking about going with it. Not a bad size eating area for a tiny house. The bathroom is right off of the kitchen, the toilet. So this is runs right through the middle of the bathroom. And if you go through here, the other side is the bedroom. And I think it's like a sorry, 13 by 9, I believe. They love to dress her here. Um, Got hardwood floors throughout. Definitely need refinishing. You know. So we went from the kitchen to the bathroom to the bedroom. And if you leave the bedroom, you come out into this living room area. That's John's chair, his favorite chair. Vintage, and he likes it. Um, me, I don't like the looks of it, but. It is a comfortable chair. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is get the windows, new windows. Definitely needs new windows. In this living room, there's the entryway, and then it goes into a dining room. Those chairs were left. Definitely can tell what the floor used to look like before some sanding started taking place. But the door between the living room and dining room area is really large. Thinking about maybe doing one of those crafting uh, entry where you put cabinets and um, like beams. I don't know, I'll have to show you a picture. But then there's an upstairs. It's got two dormer rooms, but um, the ceilings aren't very high. I'll go ahead and put one up here. It needs a lot of work up here. It's, we're going to put a new roof on it. And then after we do that, we'll work on the ceiling up here, making sure it's well insulated. Yeah, but every inch of the space kind of needs some work into it. There's kind of like a closet here. And it's tucked away, a little spot over there. It would be cute to have maybe some bookshelves lining that area. But there's two closets. This one actually has some little doors on it. So, but yeah, that's basically it for the upstairs. And then under the steps is a closet. And then that goes right back into the kitchen area. So, just a little square little house. Before and after. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to get all this done.
This is the last room we will be doing. Right now it's our catch-all. It's uh, what was the eat-in area of our kitchen um, before we totally uh, redid everything. Found several different um, layers of tile. Um, pulling that all up, we uh, discovered these floors definitely need to be redone, but I was excited to find these. Um, over here is where the door originally was, and it went out to a little patio, but where the refrigerator uh, was, or should have, would have been, is where we put the door, and the kitchen is no longer. It's the back wall to our closet and laundry room area. Back door, we're going to have this little area from the back deck. This cabinet I got from Restore, a little dusty. I'm going to sand it, paint it, use it for a little bench, have a place to keep shoes. Um, I'll probably put some wainscoting, more than likely beadboard because it'll be easier. And we'll have a little place to keep our shoes and things when we come in up the stairs from the back deck. Um, this is where the bathroom door used to be off the kitchen. And there used to be right there where we're looking through, that used to be a wall. And we took that down. And so this used to be a little hallway, but we opened it up so that we could put an island there. This will actually be my hobby room when all is said and done. Um, hoping to put some cabinets and shelves and things like that in there to make the most of the storage that we have. Um, I'll be utilizing a lot of vertical space. So, um, if we continue through here, the closet, the coat closet, was right here. I have a little cabinet kind of stuck in there. You'll be able to see that from the other side of the kitchen. But we're gonna put shelves in here, close up this part of it, and use this as a pantry to store extra stuff. Um, this color right here, I guess it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a mint green, the original color that they used. Continuing on, this is going to be our kitchen now, where the dining room used to be, the uppers. This cabinet right here is going to be our pantry, and then I'm going to have some open shelving over there. All the cabinets that are going to be in the island, I got from Restore, except for one. Um, this one, I'm in the process of sanding down and getting ready to paint. So we're going to have a island here, um, back in the area, we've got a wood ceiling up here that we covered up with some scrap wood that was left over. We have some going up the stairs to the attic area too. These cabinets right here are the only cabinets that were not bought at Restore. Um, I needed special sizes. Um, I needed a 33 inch corner cabinet and a 30 inch sink cabinet. Most cabinets sink bases are like 33 inches so they're going to be the sinks are 33 inches so most sink bases will be anywhere from 33 to 36 inches and so I needed a 30 inch one and since there was like a 9 inch door there um, I wanted a 9 inch door there just to kind of balance things out and then again a 9 inch door there and I wanted a 9 inch door on the other side of the sink 
got that cabinet at Restore. That cabinet at Restore. Those cabinets from Restore. This one was the one that was in the closet. Um, I have it just protruding. Um, I got that one. I've already started painting it, but got that from Restore. Got this stove for $400 off of Craigslist. I'll insert a picture of one that we were going to purchase. Couldn't resist saving uh, $250, so we went with the black one instead. And then our refrigerator, we got from a scratch and dent place. We got this refrigerator for $500. It sells right now at Home Depot for $14.99, so I got a really good deal on that. So up here, I have a shelf. There's my lighting. And I'm going to have a shelf up there. There's a step that goes up to the attic kind of dusty and dirty. I'm going to try to make this a trash bin, a cabinet for a trash bin that goes under the stairs. Don't know how that will turn out. We'll see. And I wanted a little shiplap, so I made a little shiplap, shiplap wall by the stove. Another little shelf up there. And um, then we go on into what will be our living room. So this is standing at our front door. When you come in, the kitchen will be right there. I'm working on a little uh, wall that I'm gonna also use to, when we come in, maybe have a place to set our keys and put another um, set of hooks right there just to hang jackets and things and not finished at all, but I'll have a shelf down there to, you know, set maybe umbrellas or maybe put another shelf and put some storage bins or something in there for other miscellaneous items, hats, or I really don't know, but that's what I'm working on right now. This piece of wood right here was from our uh, baseboard, and um, I'm painting most of the baseboard, but um, I really liked how it looked, and I wanted to save um, some of that, which reminds me some of this other wood I didn't get a picture of, so I'll go over here real quick. I'm going to pause it again. Going up our steps, I used some more scrap wood to put on the ceiling going up the steps. So, again, this is into the kitchen, behind that little wall. And we got the wood floors done, but they're all covered up. We'll get to see a sneak peek of them, but all those little paint splatters is why we covered them up. Um, the bathroom door used to be in the area off the kitchen. We moved it to there. Uh, this little piece of brick fireplace was ex was covered up when we wanted to keep it exposed um, and panning around that door right there goes to our bedroom and these are some more cabinets they are upper cabinets that usually go in a kitchen but um, I am going to use them to build a built-in bookcase around them and there's another one on that side in the process of sanding doors getting ready to paint trim um, we primed it before we put it up so um, just a kind of quick view um, there's going to be an island kitchen um, thinking about taking that wood off and exposing that beam because I don't like what's there now playing around with everything. John wakes up in the morning and gets ready for work now that we're inside and so he has to have a little seat, his tablet, and some coffee 
to till out in the morning. Again, those will be built-ins. And then our bedroom is right through here. And you can kind of see some of our wood floors. Um, a couple days ago, we moved inside because it got below freezing. Um, I think it got down um, like minus 8 degrees. And um, even though our our view was warm in the bedroom, our bedroom was very, very tight. So we thought we would just um, haul everything into the bedroom, even though things weren't finished and the way I would have liked them to be. Um, we closed off our bedroom door and just kept everything inside and made this little room our little retreat. This is going to be a little bit, a uh, little fireplace to kind of help keep our room warm. Um, it has a mantle. I just haven't taken the time to put it together. Um, but these cabinets here weren't what was originally going to be here. That set of cabinets there had, these are up, upper cabinets turned upside down and there was another cabinet that was 30 inches that I was going to place under the window and then there was a single cabinet on this side um, which here is the 30 inch base. Um, I set it over here temporarily so that I can have stuff to set my stuff on. You know, we got to have our stuff. Brought a chair from in outdoors inside so I have a place to sit. It's my little space heater. Um, so, need to work on sanding and painting these doors. This is John's little corner where he likes to, again, when he's in here, chill on his tablet and talk to all you guys and drink some coffee and such. Um, and then the bathroom, don't have our shower in yet, but uh, we did not want to rise our RV so we can still shower in there. But, um, so anyway, back to this. Since I wasn't able, once I put the trim on, um, the, the window, I didn't like how the window trim and the seat um, came together because uh, it, it, the, the, what I have there now is 36 inches and the window seat was 30 inches. And so the cabinets um, got in the way of the trim and I didn't like that. So I went to restore and bought another set of cabinets and replaced the doors on them. Um, cut cut those other cabinets apart. This thing in the middle was a hope chest that my dad built me when I was 16. Um, kind of got uh, messy when we were painting and stuff. I'm going to sand it down and paint all that stuff to match and then again do some uh, uh, built-ins, uh, um, some shelves and things like that just to keep our um, place organized because we don't have a lot of room hopefully we won't have a lot of stuff but what we do have we'll be able to keep it out of sight um, John didn't have a night to stand so I found a bench down in the basement and put that up there so he could have um, a place to put his computer and uh, glasses and think phone and stuff like that at night while he's sleeping um, we got our ceiling fan in. Um, that TV will go in the living room, but since we were spending all of our time in here and since those other rooms aren't ready, we just put the TV in here and um, put that board across there so that it would fit. And then this room in here is what used to be our kitchen, which is now laundry room slash closet. This wash machine is a wash machine dryer combo and I absolutely love it. You put your clothes in there um, and set it to wash and as soon as it's done washing it will start drying and it will drain of course all the water out and then it will start drying and then when it's done drying it sings to you and you're all done. But 
We've since moved some of our stuff out, but the other day when it was really cold and we moved stuff in here, we had our a microwave set up over here and our toaster. And I think this is the cabinet that was attached to, the single cabinet that was attached to the one that I cut apart. And um, I put it up here. And I put it where I could reach it. But I threw some stuff in there just to have a place to store some stuff. This is our... Um, uh, filter. We brought that in from the RV. Got this little cabinet um, and two others um, for $10 each. Again, all these cabinets are from Restore. Um, I think that cabinet right there was uh, $45 and um, I'm going to sand it down. Actually, it was painted white and I already did sand it. I got to get little bit more off of there but then I'll paint everything we're going to have this be a little put a bar there so that we can hang some stuff this dresser right here is the dresser that uh, was left here um, and I'm probably gonna sand and paint it but my goal is to again put a hanging bar over there and then um, some up here, all these cabinets up here, they're going to have to be John's because I'm not going to be able to reach any of them. I've got some stuff stored up there. but uh, And then from there, I'll have the shelves wrap around and go above the door. And um, shelves continuing up and that, a shelf that goes all the way across the top of here um, and connecting to that one. And... I'll just keep this open down here for laundry baskets and things like that. Um, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we've been doing. We've got so much stuff to do yet, um, but got a lot done too. And um, it's coming all along. The finishing touches are about to begin, and so I kind of wanted to do a kind of have a before all the finishings were done so